Let's build an awesome Lego fast food kitchen. The parts list will be provided in the description below. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Take an 8 by 16 plate for the base for our walk-in refrigerator and freezer. Let's place a 1 by 2 by 2 corner plate in the top left. Followed by three one by six plates. And we're going to set another one by two by two corner plate, followed by a one by six plate on the right hand side. Starting back in the top left, set down three one by two flat tiles. We're going to finish off the floor inside of the walk-in refrigerator and freezer. Place a one by one flat tile, followed by a one by two plate. Let's continue with three more one by two flat tiles. Let's continue on with three two by two flat tiles and a one by two flat tile. Skip this area, place down three more two by two flat tiles. For the next row, set down a two by two flat tile and a two by two plate with one knob or jumper plate, followed by a two by two and one by two flat tiles. Skip a set of studs and place down three more two by two flat tiles. Now on the bottom left, place a one by two flat tile and a one by two plate, followed by two two by two flat tiles and a one by two flat tile in this area. Skip these studs, place a two by two flat tile, two by two jumper plate, and a two by two flat tile to finish up the base of the floor. Let's start the first level of our wall with two one by eight bricks, place them in the back, and a one by two brick on top of the one by two plate. On the right hand side, set down a one by one brick, a two by two inverted 45 degree slope, another one by one brick, another two by two 45 degree inverted slope, and a one by one Technic brick. On this stud, place a one by one brick. On the left hand side, set down a one by one brick, a two by two 45 degree inverted slope, a one by one brick, another two by two 45 degree inverted slope, set down a one by one Technic brick right there, and a one by two brick to finish up the first layer. Back on the right hand side, let's lock these bricks together with a one by eight brick. For the back, place two one by four bricks and a one by six brick. And on the left hand side, place a one by six brick, a one by two by two corner brick, and a one by one brick. Let's set down a one by one brick right on top of the previous one by one brick. Now let's level this off with a one by two plate. Let's construct the lower shelf starting with a two by 14 plate. Let's skip one stud and place a one by two two walled wall element. Now let's place two one by two wall elements right here perpendicular to the previous wall element and let's take two more one by two double wall elements and set them as shown we have two containers now I want to skip a set of studs and I'm going to place down three two by two plates for our raw beef patties. 
that one got away. Put that right there. Let's skip a set of studs. And let's place down four more 2x2 two two plates. Got to have all that raw beef to make our hamburgers. Let's take a 1x1 one one brick with a milk carton pattern and a 1x1 one one slope. Place the slope on top of the 1x1 one one brick. Let's set this on the edge of the 2x4 plate. We're going to use this as a shelf to hold up milk. Let's make three more milk cartons. Let's set these down like so. If you don't have these milk cartons, you can always just use a standard blue one by one brick. Next, take a two by four plate and two two by two round plates and stick these plates on one side of the two by four plate. Let's place five two by two round plates on top of one another. We need more raw beef patties. And we're going to take this stack of plates and set it on the edge of a 1x6 plate. Let's place the 2x14 assembly right in the back. We're going to have to wiggle that in a bit. There we go. Place this on the left. And the assembly with the milk cartons on the right hand side. This is going to sit on the edge of the 1x2 plate, as well as on the 1x1 one one brick. I'm going to have to wiggle that in a bit. Just take your time and line everything up. Now, in these trays, I'm going to add some toppings. So I'm going to add three light green studs for our lettuce and seven red studs for tomatoes. Let's start the next layer of our wall with two one by one plates right on top of the one by six plate. Place these on top of one another. Now place a one by two brick right next to the one by one plates. Followed by a 2x2 two two inverted 45 degree slope, 1x2 two brick, and a 2x2 two two inverted 45 degree slope. On the back, place a pair of 1x8 bricks. Right in the center, let's place a 1x2 brick. Set down a 1x2 plate right on top of the 1x2 brick and another 1x2 plate perpendicular to the previous 1x2 plate. Place a 1x1 brick right here. And for the right hand side, a 2x2 two 45 degree inverted slope, 1x2 brick, another 2x2 two 45 degree inverted slope, and a 1x1 one one brick finish up this layer. Back on the left hand side set down a 1x2 brick and a 1x8 brick. For the back place a 1x4, a 1x6, and 1x4 bricks. Followed by a 1x8 brick. And in this area a 1x1 brick. Let's stack four studs on top of one another. We're going to need to make two stacks in total. Set these off to the side. I want to make a stack of two. And a stack of three. These are going to be like smaller patties. That extra raw beef. 
Now I want to set down some patties on this one by one plate. Now we're going to grab a one by four plate. We're just going to place these down anywhere we want. Like so. Let's take a one by eight plate. Let's set down a few studs on top of this plate for more raw beef patties. We're going to continue placing these patties on top of one another in any fashion you wish. So I'm just going to start stacking them on top of one another in random numbers. For the next shelf, let's take a 1x6 plate, place a 1x2 double wall element, like so, for a small container. Now let's place a red round 1x1 brick, a yellow round 1x1 brick, and a white round 1x1 brick. These are going to be the ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise jars. Let's close up the top of the jars with three one by one round flat tiles. Now let's take a one by one brick with an orange juice pattern and a one by one slope. Place a slope on top of the one by one brick for an orange juice carton. We're going to need to make four of these in total. Let's place one of these cartons on top of a one by one plate and the other three cartons on top of this 1x4 plate. For our last shelf, let's place the 1x8 assembly on the left hand side. And let's place this on the right hand side. Just have to wiggle that in. Let's set down a one by one brick right by the shelf. Now let's place a one by one plate underneath a one by two plate. And let's place it right in this area to level out this portion of the wall. Now I want to place my orange juice cartons on the right hand side. And my raw beef patties on the left hand side. Let's set two yellow studs in this container for some cheese. Let's start our next layer of wall with a one by one brick on top of the previous one by one bricks. Now these like to get out of a line so we're going to have to help them back. On the left hand side set down a 1x3 and 1x6 bricks. On the back place a 1x8, a 1x3 brick, and a 1x4 and 1x3 bricks. And on the right hand side a 1x3 and 1x4 bricks. Now I want to put a door between my refrigerator and freezer. So let's take a transparent light blue door and a stud, place a stud on the door, and let's set the door inside of a 1x4x6 frame. Now take note of the hinge it is on the right hand side. Let's set that down in like so. Now we can clear that stud on the floor. Set down a pair of 1x2 plates on top of the door. And a 1x1 one one brick right here. Starting on the left, set down a 1x1 one one and 1x2x2 one by two by two corner brick. In this area, place a 1x6 brick. In the back, let's set down a 1x6 brick 
a 1x2 brick right next to the door, and a 1x8 brick in the back. And on the right, a 1x8 brick. Back on the left again, start with a 1x2 brick and a 1x1 Technic brick. A 1x6 brick on the left hand side and a 1x8 brick on the back. Let's lock this whole area in with a 1x8 brick. Let's keep the door secured. To finish up the back, place a 1x4 and 1x3 bricks. On the right, a 1x6 brick and a 1x1 Technic brick. Now let's finish up the top of the wall with a set of flat tiles, starting with a 1x2 flat tile and a pair of 1x4 flat tiles. Left hand side. In the back, place a 1x3 and 1x4 flat tiles. In this area, place a 1x3 and 1x4 flat tiles. In the back, set down a 1x4 and 1x3 flat tiles. And on the right hand side, two 1x4 flat tiles. Now I want to finish off these holes with four friction pins. These are going to be used to attach the main portion of the kitchen. Let's construct the kitchen starting with a 16 by 16 stud plate. Place a 1 by 4 plate in the top right followed by a 2x2 two two plate. Let's continue along the right hand side with a pair of 1x6 plates. Skip four studs. Let's place two 1x4 plates. And on the left hand side, place a 1x4 and two 1x6 plates. I want a tile in my kitchen, so let's place down a few 1x2 flat tiles on the top, right next to the 2x2 plate. And to finish up this row, a 1x1 flat tile. Let's continue with four 2x2 flat tiles, a 2x2 jumper plate, and a 1x2 flat tile if it can get in there. <laughs> Let's continue the next row with a 2x2 flat tile and a 2x2 jumper plate followed by a pair of 2x2 flat tiles, another jumper plate, and a 1x2 flat tile. Now I want to focus on this area starting with two 2x2 flat tiles and a 1x2 flat tile. Place a 1x2 plate right here, followed by a 1x2 flat tile, a 2x2 flat tile, and a 1x2 flat tile. These plates are going to be used to attach a sink that we'll be building in a moment or two. Let's continue on with a 2x2 jumper plate, 2x2 flat tile, and a 1x2 flat tile. Right here, let's place a 2x2 two two flat tile right next to the jumper plate, a 1x2 flat tile, and a 1x1 flat tile as shown. Drop down a pair of 2x2 two two jumper plates, followed by a set of 2x2 two two flat tiles. In this area, place six 2x2 two two flat tiles. Now you can make the floor pattern any way you choose. I'm just using medium nougat to give it that terracotta look. In this area, place a 2x2 two two jumper plate, 2x2 two two flat tile, and another 2x2 two two jumper plate, followed by a pair of 2x2 two two flat tiles. Now we have the floor tile for our kitchen. Let's construct the walls starting on the left with a 1x4 brick, 1x3 brick, 
and a 1x8 brick. Now for the top left, let's set down a 1x1 Technic brick, followed by a 1x8 brick in the back. For the top right, place a 1x2 brick, Technic brick, and a 1x1 brick. Now here, set down three 2x2 two two inverted 45 degree slopes. This is going to help hold up the sink basin. And a 1x8 brick along the side. Back on the left, place a 1x3, 1x8, and 1x4 bricks. And for the back, a 1x6 and 1x3 bricks. For the top right, a 1x3 brick, followed by a 1x4, 1x8, and 1x3 bricks for the right hand side. For the seat basin, start with a 2x6 plate. Let's place four 1x1 corner wall elements in like so. Let's place two 1 by 2 wall elements on the left hand side and two on the right hand side. Now we're going to need to close off these sides. Let's take a 1 by 2 by 2 wall element. Let's crown the top of this off with a 1 by 2 flat tile. I'm going to need to make two of these in total. Let's place this 1x2 assembly on the left hand side. Set our sink basin down on the inverted slopes. And the other wall assembly on the right hand side. Place two 1x8 bricks on the left hand side to continue our wall construction. Place a 1x3 brick in the back, skip four studs, and place a 1x1 brick. On the right hand side, place a 1x2 brick, a 1x8 brick, 1x6 brick, and a 1x2 brick with holder. Back on the left hand side, set down a 1x1 brick. And here I want to add a little shelf. Let's start with a 2x2 two two, 45 degree inverted slope, a 1x4 brick, and another 2x2 two two inverted 45 degree slope. And to finish up this section, a 1x6 brick, a 1x4 brick, and a 1x1 brick on top of the previous 1x1 one one brick. Now for the top right, place a 1x3 brick. Now I want to add a shelf above my sinks, so let's add a 1x3 inverted 30 degree slope. Now we're going to place a 1x1 one one brick. Let's add ourselves a little faucet with a 1x1 one one brick with one knob and a tap. Place the tap on the knob. Place it to where the tap is facing down. Now we're going to continue on with a 1x2 brick. Now we're going to make another faucet with a 1x1 one one brick with one knob and a tap facing down. Here, place down a 1x1 one one brick and a 1x3 inverted 30 degree slope. Let's finish up this area with a 1x3, a 1x2 brick with holder and a regular 1x2 brick in this area. Let's start the next layer with a pair of 1x8 bricks to strengthen up this portion of the wall. Followed by a 1x3 and 1x1 bricks. In this opening, I want to put a pass-through window, so let's take a 1x4x3 frame and a couple of shutters that fit inside the frame Snap those in like so. 
I'll set this down where the shutters are facing out. This gives us easy access into the freezer. Continuing on with the right hand side, starting with a 1x2 brick and a 1x6 brick, followed by a 1x4 and 1x6 bricks to strengthen up this portion of the wall. Continuing on with the left hand side, starting with a 1x6 brick and a set of 1x4 bricks. Let's lock in that corner with a 1x2x2 corner brick. Place a 1x4 brick right above the pass through window and a 1x3 brick to finish this off. I want to place a door that takes us into our walk in refrigerator. So let's take a 1x4x6 frame, place two 1x2 plates on the top of the frame. Now, for a door, I'm going to take a door that fits inside the frame and I want to place a knob on this door so we can obviously open it up and let's set the door down like so get that pressed down secure now let's continue on the right hand side starting with a 1x1 one one and a 1x2x2 one two two corner bricks and for the right hand side a 1x6 and 1x4 bricks. Here, let's place a 1x1 one one brick with one knob right here to attach a clock as well as a 1x3 brick. Let's add our last layer of bricks starting on the left with three 1x4 bricks. Let's place a 1x3 brick and a 1x1 one one Technic brick in the top left. Now for the top, let's strengthen it up with a 1x6 brick and a 1x8 brick. And for the top right, a 1x1 one one Technic brick, followed by a 1x3 and two 1x6 bricks. Now let's smooth off the top of the walls, starting in the bottom left with a 1x3 and a set of 1x4 flat tiles. Now let's skip four studs. We're going to place four more 1x4 flat tiles on the top. And on the right hand side, three more 1x4 flat tiles. and a 1x3 flat tile. Now let's build our shelves for the kitchen. Let's construct a little shelf for our condiments starting with a 1x8 plate. Next let's place four round bricks to represent ketchup, mustard, salt, and pepper. Now I want to crown off the top of these round bricks with a few 1x1 one one round flat tiles. Now I want to add some hamburger buns on this little shelf. So let's grab four 2x2 two two round plates. Let's stack the plates on top of one another. And we're going to simply set these on the edge of the shelf. Let's make another shelf with a 2x8 Technic plate. Set down a 2x2 two two brick on the left hand side and crown off the top of the brick with four 1x1 one one slopes. The slopes are going to give the appearance of a slightly open cardboard box. Now let's make a fire extinguisher with a 1x1 one one round brick and a tap. Place the tap on top of the round brick. Let's place our condiment shelf right on top of the inverted 45 degree slopes. On this side, let's place the 2x8 Technic plate with cardboard box. Now here, 
let's place our fire extinguisher. It just snaps right in the holder. Let's place a broom in this holder. And let's grab ourselves a little clock and set it right on the brick with wood knob. And I want to place a little trash can on that jumper plate. Let's build our sides counter starting with a 2x3 plate. Place a 1x4 brick along one side of the 2x3 plate. Now set down two 1x2 profile bricks. Let's slide in a 2x4 plate underneath the assembly. Place a 1x4 brick in the back followed by two 1x2 profile bricks in the front. Let's slide in another 2x4 plate perpendicular to the assembly. On this side, place a 1x2 profile brick and two more 1x2 profile bricks on the other side. Set down a 2x6 plate right here. Let's place three 1x2 double wall elements in the back. These are going to be our dividers for our sides. Let's place three more 1x2 double wall elements in the front. Now we have three trays. On the right hand side, place a 1x2 brick and a 1x2 flat tile. On the other side, let's place a 1x2 brick and a 1x2 profile brick. Let's continue on the other side with two more 1x2 profile bricks. And let's finish off these two areas with two 2x2 jumper plates. Now let's construct the stove starting with a 2x3 plate. Place two 1x4 bricks on one side of the 2x3 plate. Let's slide in a set of 2x3 plates and place them right underneath the assembly. Let's fill in both areas with two 1x2 bricks. And in this area, three 1x2 profile bricks. In the back, set down a 1x6 brick. Right in front of the 1x6 brick, place down six 1x1 transparent orange bricks. These are going to give us the appearance of hot coals. This is going to be more like a flame broiled grill. Now on the front, place six 1x1 one one angler bricks or headlight bricks. Now on the top, let's set down two 1x2 one radiator grills right in the center. We have the studs open in the back. Right next to the radiator grills, place two 1x2 one jumper plates. Followed by two more 1x2 one radiator grills on the outsides. Now I want to place some knobs and gauges on the front. So I'm going to start on the left hand side and place a round 1x1 one one flat tile with a gauge print. Now these are a bit tricky to get on. You have to get these to line up just right. Next we're going to place a stud and we're going to continue the pattern. So now I want to place another 1x1 one one flat tile with gauge print. A stud and another gauge print. Now here's a rule of thumb. Don't press these down all the way until you know it's straight. Now we have our knobs and gauges installed. Now let's add some patties to the top of the grill. Let's take a 2x2 two two round plate, place it on the left. Raw beef. This one's sort of cooked. Let's place another 2x2 two two round plate on the left hand side. In the back, let's place three 1x2x3 wall elements. 
Let's slide this off to the side and build a hood for the top of our grill. Let's start with a 2x6 plate. Place a 1x4 brick right on top of the 2x6 plate and set down a 2x4 45 degree slope on the front. Now I want to slide in a 1x6 plate. On the left hand side, let's take a 2x2 two two double 45 degree corner and a 1x2 45 degree brick. Let's strengthen up the top with a 2x2 two two plate on the left and a 2x3 plate on the right. I want to place a 2x3 plate on the left and a 2x2 two two plate on the right. And for the top, a 1x2 flat tile on the left and a 1x4 flat tile on the front. Setting this on is pretty easy. We're going to set it on like so. Now we have our grill. Let's build a deep fryer starting with a 2x2 two two plate. Let's place four 1x1 one one corner wall elements on the corners of the 2x2 two two plate where we have a container. Make sure everything is lined up. Now let's flip the container over. We're going to place a 1x2 brick on one side and a 1x2 profile brick on the other side. Let's flip the container back over. Let's take a 2x6 and 1x6 plates. Set the plates next to each other. We're going to drop the container on the right hand side to where our profile bricks are facing towards us. Now let's take two 1x2 profile bricks, place them on top of one another. I want to place them on the back side. So we're going to make two more of these. Set those down as shown. On the other side, let's take a set of 2x2x2 two by two by two containers. These are going to be the actual deep fryers for our fries. Let's lock in the profile bricks with a 1x6 plate. Let's place a 1x2 brick on the right hand side. Now let's grab a 1x4 brick with four knobs. Let's attach a 1x1 one one round flat tile with the gauge print. We've got to make sure that this is straight. So, looks pretty good. Then we're going to stick a stud. Let's stick another gauge printed round 1x1 one one flat tile and a stud. We'll set this assembly right above the fryers. Now, let's lock it together with a 1x6 brick. Let's place a 1x2 plate on the right hand side and a set of 2x3 plates on the left hand side. And let's lock those together with a 1x6 brick. Now for the hood, we're going to place a pair of 2x2 double inverted 45 degree slopes. Let's continue up one more level with a 1x6 brick and a 1x2 profile brick right above the slopes. Let's place a 1x2 plate on the right hand side and let's lock in the range hood with two 1x2x2 corner plates. And then smooth off the top with a 1x6 flat tile and a 1x2 flat tile. Now let's make a hamburger. Let's place a few studs on a 2x2 two two shoe plate or glider plate. And I'm going to place a couple more studs on the opposing corners. This one's going to represent cheese and the other one's going to represent lettuce. And we're going to crown it all off with a 2x2 two two round plate. Now we have a nice hamburger. Now for fries it's pretty simple. Just a 1x1 one one brick and a 1x1 one one crystal. Now we have a hamburger with fries. Now let's put all the pieces together. Let's put the walk-in refrigerator and freezer on the back. So we're going to lock it inside these Technic bricks. 
have to work that in very slow. Make sure everything's lined up and we just pop that in place. Now for here, let's put our grill. Set that down and slowly press that in. Make sure you press that down firm. Now to lock in this area, let's finish this off with a 2x4 flat tile. Here we're going to put our sides counter. Slide that in and press down slow but firm. Slowly work that in. And right here, we're going to put our deep fryer right in this spot. Make sure that's pressed down good and firm. Let's drop a few spatulas in the holes of the 2x8 Technic plate. Have a bunch in different colors. Here, let's set a couple of these fries in the deep fryer. So just drop these two in right here. And this is going to be used for the fries that already have been cooked. Now for this side, let's add our sides. I'm just going to grab a couple of studs. I'm going to drop five studs in here for slices of cheese. You can use cheese slopes. I had these on hand, especially the one that likes to flop all over the floor. Get that in there. Get in there. There we go. Bit of a tight squeeze. And I'm going to add lettuce in this one. So we'll drop five more light green studs in here. And the last bin is going to be for our tomatoes. Who doesn't like tomatoes on their hamburger? I like tomatoes. Okay. Now we can take our fries and our hamburger. We'll slide the hamburger here. And we'll put our fries here. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. Now this kitchen is perfect for many figures. Here we have Jay the Surfer. He can move about. Plenty of room. I even left the studs on the floor for him to anchor down to. The door does open up. Here's the pass through for the raw beef patties. So we don't have to walk in the freezer every time to get to them. So everything turned out really good for this tutorial.